General George Casey, the Chief of Staff of the U.S. Army, made his first visit to Fort Huachuca, Arizona. General Casey visited most of the major organizations on Fort Huachuca, and here he met with soldiers from Charlie Company, Unmanned Aircraft Systems Training Battalion. As he prepared to depart the post from Libby Army Airfield, he spoke to the media about his visit. And I must say, I am usually impressed with what I've seen both here in the Intelligence Center and in our NETCOM. And what the innovation going on in our intelligence center to better prepare our soldiers uh, and leaders to operate the intelligence systems in Iraq and Afghanistan is striking. And I, I saw some of the things that we were just starting to deal with during my time in Iraq here are now part of the standard teaching instruction that's going into all our intel soldiers. So we have clearly learned and adapted uh, and are institutionalizing the lessons of the current fight. In our net, network command, uh, we are realizing great efficiencies uh, across the globe here running the Army network, and I am heartened by the progress that they've made. The 36th Chief of Staff of the U.S. Army then spoke about President Obama's recent decision on Afghanistan and how it will affect soldiers and families. I came out here and I watched the President's speech uh, with some advanced course captains last night, uh, and I, I would just tell you this. And this is also primarily to the soldiers and families here at uh, Fort Huachuca. Uh, it may seem counterintuitive, but we, the Army, will be able to execute uh, our portion of what the President announced last night uh, without uh, resorting to 15-month deployments, without deploying soldiers with less than 12 months at home, and without halting our plans to come up with stop loss in the, in the 1st of January. And the reason for that is because two things. One, the growth that we have made as an Army over the last five years. We're 70,000 soldiers larger than we were five years ago. And 40,000 of that growth has come just in the last two and a half years. And second is the drawdown in Iraq. And as we deploy the forces to Afghanistan and, and execute the drawdown in Iraq, uh, what you see is we really don't wind up deploying a lot more forces cumulatively than we have deployed today. General Casey then boarded a U.S. Air Force plane and headed on to Fort Leavenworth, Kansas and Washington, D.C. And that's it for this edition of the Fort Report. I'm Tom Williams from the Fort Huachuca Public Affairs Office. Have a great day.